Monica here on Nice Kicks with Fergie Ferg himself, Young Trap Lord. Thanks for hanging out with us today. No doubt, thanks for hanging out with me. So I want to say congratulations. You just got back from Art Basel yep. in Miami and you just launched your new collection, Trap Lord. Yep, I uh, dropped the Addy E sneaker with Adidas, uh, Trap Lord edition. It dropped December 5th, sold out the same day on the Adidas website. Now we're hitting these stores and we're just doing it big, man. I'm not surprised at all. So what made you choose the Addies? Because it's just taking it back to like the roots of where I came from with the BMX bike riders and the skateboarders from Harlem. You know, we all stuck together, you know, growing up because we was the black sheep. So we hung out together, went to the same parties, wore the same kind of clothes, mm -hmm. um, especially skateboarding sneakers. and. That's what Addy Ease is, you know, it's a skateboarding shoe. And um, the silhouette is just dope. Like I added my monogram all over it, you know, did the custom sole inside with uh, Yams painting inside each one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, got the lyrics to Hood Pope, which is one of my favorite songs off my album Trap Lord, mm -hmm. on the laces. And um, it's a light shoe, like you could do a lot with it. You could dress down with it, or you could just hit the skateboard or go to, you know, do BMX bike ride with them too. Mm -hmm. So I just thought it was cool. And I know the whole collection is a tribute to ASAP Yams. How important was it to him that you guys ventured out to do art and fashion in addition to rap? Um, it was very important because he was an artist himself. Like I always say, Yams was the visionary. Like he was an artist in that way. He didn't, you know, want to rap or you know make beats or anything like that. He, his art was basically seeing the art in us and putting us together as a collective and um, branding us to where the world can digest us. Cause you, you gotta think about it, as much talent as I have or Rocky have or Nas or 12 or anybody from out of the group, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with a lot of different minds and it gotta be your art to kind of put all of those together, all of those different fabrics and just mesh them all into one and say here goes ASAP to the world, and that's what he did. And you mentioned that Hood Pope was one of your favorite songs on your album, and I saw that on the heel of the shoe. Yeah. Why else did you choose it? Well, I choose Hood Pope because I felt like I'm making my transition from the Trap Lord to the Hood Pope. Trap Lord and Hood Pope is the same person. You know, they're both ASAP Ferg, but um, Trap Lord is the more lost one. You know, that's me being in the hood, not experiencing the world. Hope Hope is me experiencing the world, coming back to preach to my people, letting them know more conscious decisions or, um, you know, what I experienced on my voyage. That's who the Hope Hope is, and that's who I transformed into on this album. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I saw that you went to art and design high school. Yep. So how did, like, what did you learn back then that helped you in the process of producing your collection now? I learned a lot of techniques back then, like sketching and crosshatch and abstract. I took fashion and fine arts, so I'm pretty well-rounded uh, with, you know, using different mediums to create art. I think that helped in some sort of way. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but um, yeah. And then my father went to art and design high school as well, so, you know, that says a lot. You know, if he went there, he was very talented himself. You brought back a lot of old school style, for example, like the gold frames, the um, different colored camo, yeah, and even the Versace, like the the Tommy. You know, that's me. I mean, I think that like, you know, from films, art, magazines, I feel like art was more potent than. I feel like people wanted to do their own thing. People was more original back then. Now it's kind of watered down and it's hard to be original because, you know, nothing is really new under the sun. Um, and social media kind of, it's, it's, it's a gift and a curse because it kind of takes the juice out of um, being mysterious or the mystique behind it. So it's like, you know, the process kind of ruins it because 
you see how the sneaker is made, this, that, and third. Before you didn't see all of that. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you seen an artist, whether it was Basquiat or Michael Jackson yeah. or Andy Warhol, it was like seeing a fucking alien. Oh, yeah. Because you didn't see them that much. So, what's next for ASAP for style wise? Um, style wise, I'm working on a collab with uh, A Goldie. Mm -hmm. which is the child brand of Citizen for All Mankind. So I'm working on some denim jeans. Like I can see, I'm not sure if y'all can see my denim jeans right here, but... It says Psycho, right? Yeah, it says Psycho, which is my uncle's name. I have a song called Psycho on my album, Always Strive and Prosper, my new album. Mm -hmm. And um, these these jeans I did myself. So you guys, if y'all like my They're jeans, sick. yeah, I, I've always been known for wearing my jeans. I, I got a funny story. Like when I first came out, my fans would see my Instagram pics and be like, yo, Ferg got money now, but he wears the same jeans. Yes. But that's because I love my jeans. So anybody who loves my jeans, they'll be able to wear them now. Are you going to make some for women? Um, we're working on that. But you know, the, the, the woman body is so, it's art. So I got to mm -hmm. I gotta figure out how to master that. You know what I'm saying? As far as the jeans go. But I'm pretty sure that I have one of these sure. things. Thank you for your time. No doubt, love. You guys heard it here on NiceKicks.com. ASAP.